stream, and it will be Chorus versus Ole Miss. Um, we started the first game of the series on the last go for stream, of course. That was the first one. We lost a tight one, 2-1. Um, but today we got Chip Wolf on the mound. You know, he's our star player in the team, star pitcher, of course. He had an amazing outing on opening day versus Arkansas. You know, they got Rocco Urban on the mound. Uh, hopefully we can rock him and come at 500 win percentage because right now our record's 2-3. Let's even it out and make it 3-3. And, of course, we'll be at Ole Miss today. So, should be a good one. Let's do this. Of course, at Barnes Canyon Field, that's their field. Chip Wolf on the mound, and then I'm going to make some adjustments here. Anderson's been in almost every game this year, so we'll put in Bernard Sands. Who else? Fisher, same thing with him, basically. Can he play shortstop? Yes, he can. So, Tavares. We'll do that. And then there. Saria. We'll put Krenzel in for him. And anybody else? Maybe the catcher. We'll put in Ernie Royal. But, uh, yeah. That's about it. We got our lineup set. Let's go. Their lineup is Mickey McKnight, LaCruz, Duffy, Lewis, Drew, Parks, Pedra, Ross Jr., and Alexander Reese. Rocco Urban is a lefty, just like Chip Wolf, so. Uh, we got a good amount of lefties. I think we have three. We the lights, no, we got a good amount of righties. We have like three lefties, so. Let's do this. Come on. The, bomb squad and the, Rebel. the Ole it's Miss baseball. Rebels. It's the show, and it comes your way We're taking next. the field. We're the road team, so we got to hit first. See God, what's up? Make sure to smash that like button. If you're enjoying the series, and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. First pitch of the game. Tadrango. Foul. Already down 0-2. The Rebels' early record this year is 3-2. Broke the bat. Wow. Not the greatest contact there. Start the game. One out. Rafael, arguably the best hitter on our team, Rodriguez. He doesn't have a ton of power, but he's got a ton of contact. And we are in for some tough conditions tonight. 41 degrees at game time. Now a curveball misses inside. Fellas, you take a look at our home standing. And of course, well, maybe a today we'll have a Madden uh, franchise game, but I might not, but we probably will because I think we'll advance week. The reason I'm questioning that is because uh, we're on our bye week. But the next game we play is going to be against Black Space 999 Gaming. Yes, you heard it here. We'll be playing Black Space and our next Madden franchise game with the, fr uh, with the Shamrocks as Rodriguez gets a single. So I'm going to be very excited for that. Now Hernandez with a single to right. We've been slapping it to that side so far this game. Which, I mean, I'll take. A hit's a hit. Ooh. Bernard and Sands looks like a monster. Man, oh man, is he tall. 0-2 to Sands. And foul. Another one sent foul. The O2 
Oh, that will be a hit. Send him home, coach. Save. one nothing go first. Thanks to Bernard. No, Bernard Sands single. You just, we haven't pulled the ball so far. We've just slapped it the other way, and I mean, it's worked, so. Now Krenzel's up with the runner in scoring position. One out. What I need to do is I need to stay less aggressive in this series. Like I need to just wait back on some pitches a little more. And let me know how much you guys like the jerseys. Because it'll take a long, long time it took for me to customize everyone's jerseys, hats, um, you know, find their logo, stamp it on, and... Oh, that ball is going to get in the gap. Krenzel will get at least a double. Send the runner home. Krenzel's digging his way to third. That will be a two RBI triple for the left fielder, Rod Krenzel. Was that huge or what? We're off versus Urban. 3 nothing. here with only one out in the first. Now can Messias bring Krenzel home? I hope so. 0-2. Oh, that was a nasty curve. Two down. Tavares will look to bring in Krenzel. And yes, he will. Alonzo Tavares with the single. Perfect, perfect. There we go. Four nothing golfers. We're almost going to go back to the top of the lineup this inning. Start it back up at the top. We're already at our eighth batter. Oh, that ball crushed. Send him home. Can we get a triple? And another triple this inning. A stand-up triple. Wow. Alexis Elias with the triple. Wow, there's no way. They have taken out their starting pitcher in the first inning. In comes Jesse Collins. That will be one of that man's worst starts in his career. Wow. Oh, my Lord. Now Ernie Royal's up. Wow, he's already taken out. Can you believe it? I know I can't. Ernie Royal can bring him home. Come on, bring in Elias. Black Space, welcome. In case you didn't hear yet, their starting pitcher has given up five runs in the first inning. We've hit two triples. And he's already been taken out. So now Jesse Collins is in. What a start to the game for these Gophers. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Man, One two to Royal, the catcher. Right there, that old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. Swung on. Oh, they say he went. In the dirt. Ross goes to get it. And that will be the last out of the inning, or at least the top half. Chip and now Chip it's Wolf is pitching today. Dan, any he had an amazing hey, start on opening day. Season. Hopefully, he can have another amazing start. But yeah, uh, today we should get another, uh, you know, Madden stream, daily Madden stream on the franchise with Black Space Gaming and DCR Bomba Gaming and Grand Star 88. Um, maybe because I have a bye week this week as Chip Wolf strikes McKnight out to start the game for Wolf. Because uh, I have a bye week, but we'll probably advance it later on today. So, should probably get that out, I bet. Um, but the good thing about that is we play Black Space Gaming today. Our next game on the Madden franchise 
is black space and he has well he took them as the Los Angeles Rams of course but he turned them back into the St. Louis Rams and two down Digging in now, Wyatt Duffy, he drove in the other of their two runs last night. First pitch so it should be a really way. good game. And uh, I just got done most of my scouting for the next draft upcoming in that franchise. So 0 2 to Wyatt Duffy. And can't get there. That'll be a single for Duffy. But it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. Doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He has great bet the ball skills. JJ Lewis now up. Being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys. One and one to count. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. 2-2 two, two to Lewis. Strike three. Wolf strikes out Lewis to end the first inning. And Durango he started the game off, of course, as the one batter. He's up again in the second to start the second. That will get over his head for a leadoff single for Felipe Durango. Because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Rafael is up. Into the box now. Rafael Rodriguez. That ball right will get down. Yes, it will. Send him to third. Uh-oh, get back. Okay, we do. Durango moves to third. That was a bit of a risk. We thought it was gonna drop and it did, barely. Oh, Will Hernandez trying to bring in Durango. He's at third, no outs. I want to hit some home runs at this point. I mean, we're already at 5 nothing. Why not get the Bomba Siren going? Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not and now the second pitcher that's like come in, he, he hasn't had a great performance so far either, so... 2-0 count, the pitch. 2-1 now. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. That one catches Ooh, the edge what a of the pitch. zone called the strike. Splitters, it's 2-2 two two to Hernandez. Do you go for the strikeout or you're still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or... And the shortstop, but he won't field it clean. That's right, go Gophers. He didn't feel it clean. That will be an error on the shortstop. As Durango scores 6 nothing. Gophers here in the second. Now Bernard Sands is up. is in there looking at his career totals Sands is at Collins is getting rocked the long ball threat, of course in fact he's standing on the doorstep of 300 career home runs as he gets here Line oh that ball's field. crushed that Boy, gets over his head already, as this is down for extra bases Rodriguez ignores his coach he's chugging for home get back get back get back and, he's in there with and we'll be safe at third, third he's in there. that'll be a and double for Sands the power bat Bernard Sands with the double and that scored a run now it's seven nothing Gophers with two men in scoring position for Rod Krenzel who had the Standing two run now, RBI Rod triple earlier Shot to third base. Wow. Krenzel smoked that. 95 off the bat. But right to the third baseman. So that'll be one out. Messiah's looking to bring the two men in. 
hit the other way. And that will right be field. enough to bring at least one in. Catch is made. Actually, no, keep. From third. Keep him at second. Let's go. That's a sack fly there. It's eight to nothing. Eight nothing Gophers, and we still have a man in scoring position with two outs, and Tavares is up. Foul. I mean, this is about as good as a start you can get to a game. Good thing is, even if like second. Chip gives up like four runs, he'll still pitch a lot through the game. I mean, which is good, so we can, you know, give the bullpen a little bit of rest. And that and get by. The and and the yep, that will end the top of the second. second we were caught in the pickle there, back. but it's fine because so we scored three five, more six, runs. Seven, I want to say, yeah. Wait, did we? How much did we score in the first? The first we scored five. Second. The second we scored hey, three. So. Wow! 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 Chip Wolf is just dealing. And strike three to Drew. Got him with the four seam fastball. Strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks. And now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. That ball's headed for the oh, gap in left center. Parks. He's got a base hit. Can we cut Possibly it off and hold him to a single? Nope, that would be a stand up single for Calvin Sparks. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, mm. middle Not Sparks, play. Parks. 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 Come on. Oh, oh two. Quickly to Piedra. And strike three. One pitch, two pitch, three pitch. You're out. That's Wolf's fourth strikeout already. Now Ross Jr.'s up. They'll end up foul. Come on. 2-1. And that's a fly ball. Can we get there? Yes, we do. That ends the inning. Tavares, Elias, and Royal will for sure hit at the top of the third. So digging in now, Alonzo Tavares. And Collins is still in. Hopefully we can rock him again. And that will be a leadoff ground ball and a ground out. Now Elias is up. He hit the triple earlier. See what he can do here. Oh. Just couldn't quite get it on the barrel. Got two under it. Two down quickly. Back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him. Uh oh, will that drop? No, well, wow, what inning for Collins the there? Bounce back inning. Three pitches, three outs. Now, in the box, Alexander Reese, get well, now we're back up with Wolf here. Get hard up the middle, that that hitter, Mr. Reese, almost killed field. Wolf. That was scary. Hey guys, that's an excellent job right there. Right up the middle. I thought that was going to hit off his face and be injured. Ooh. Lucky there. Two strikes to McKnight. And strike three. McKnight has gone in strikes for the second time tonight. Beautiful night, though, here in Ole Miss at Barnes Canyon Ballpark. And that will be a hit now. Runner on second and first. With one out, hopefully we can turn two here. Let's see who's up, and it is Wyatt Duffy. 
He's won for they one so nice far. A single right earlier. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it. I don't know what he's swinging at there. One, two to Duffy. One and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. He Good almost idea, took that one and gone. Now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into but it's a foul. situation. Full count to Duffy. Count full, three balls Big and pitch two here. And Struck him out. Duffy here. strikes out. out Wolf has six strikeouts already. Last performance, he had an amazing play. outing. No Nine Ks, which is pretty good if you ask me. He already has six, and we're not even done with third yet. You cannot get much better than this. You just can't. Not much you're gonna do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. And strike and three. Back-to-back back Ks for inning. Wolf. That ends the inning. Seven Ks so far for Chip Wolf, the ace. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. And Durango will hit for his third time so far today. And that ball's hit pretty well. That will get down for a single, a leadoff single for Felipe Durango. I'm shocked this pitcher keeps trying to attack the zone with them being so aggressive early in the count. You wonder if he wouldn't be served a little better, just kind of nibbling for a little bit early and then pound in the zone right now. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that Big swing there. Strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Hit hard on the ground and the that's hit right to the there. second baseman. Double play. Wow. Just like that, there's two down. So stepping in, Will Hernandez. He reached now Will Hernandez is up. Came around to score last time up. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Got him to swing swinging at the dirt. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's taken Ooh, for a full high fastball. Two. One, two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here he comes again. One, two. Two, two. There, Nandas. That ball's no doubt right about it. And that ball gets oh, that what? Ball and I thought that was gone. The relay. Wow. With a double. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers. Kind of just I thought for sure that was gone. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one He side. He walked kind of. He like jogged to first base. I thought for sure that was gone. But it wasn't, I guess. But that will be a double. Ooh, big cut. A couple of RBIs for him already and a chance for more here. One pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. Come on. Give me a pitch. Give me a good pitch right down the now middle. The one and one pitch. Swung on and missed oh, on that strike two. high fastball. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. For some reason, whenever I guess it's going to be high, they throw it low. Whenever I guess it's going to be low, they throw it high. Runner in scoring position at second with two. I don't know why. Two two to Sands. And if you haven't yet, make sure to leave a like on the stream. Greatly appreciate it and subscribe if you are new. So right now we're sitting at 25 subs. So 
I want to thank every single sub that subscribes to me, and yeah, you should tell your friends about me, because uh, I do a lot of content for this channel. A lot of content. Three two, what not bat for Bernard Sands. Frustrate the heck out of a pitcher, but you gotta find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he fouls this one off. And now Collins, the reliever, has hit his 40th pitch. He's thrown three innings now. The second, the third, and the fourth. Oh, that'll be foul. And this will wind up a foul ball. This has been a seven, a nine pitch at bat. Wow. This is on the ground over and the it'll finally Stand end. But I'll take that at bat any day. You know, we tired the pitcher out a little. You know, I'll take it. Wolf still dealing. As long as he can keep dealing, you know, we can, we can uh, sit and show with our lead. One out. His wolf has now hit 50 pitches. Calvin Parks, who hit the double earlier, is now up. Oh, two to Parks. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball and oh three one strike two strike three strike you're out here so he gets the swinging strike out on the change of Calvin Parks goes down for out number two in the bottom half Pablo Piedra will stand in for a second time here as he and that one the inning another ground ball to first on the bag himself Quinn Meadows Gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings from his guys. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Rod Prinzel is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. Yeah, I'm going to put on a... No, I'm not going to put down a drag. I don't think I should. Let's just keep hitting. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss as he wraps big up cut. on the fastball one and one. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see. And let me know like if you guys would be interested. And if you want me to do so uh, to watch it. He blew I mean, right him there. this is just a thought, you know. Our group has talked about it before. We could do an MLB The Show online franchise, you know. With Blackface, TSR, Bomba Gaming, and Grand Strade 8 if he has it. You know, we've been talking about that too, so. And let me know if uh, you have any suggestions for the channel. And if you haven't yet, make sure to join our Discord. Um, you know, you can post a ton of questions about the channel. Uh, talk to the Sensational 311 community. Um, it's an easier way to go into our uh, sponsorships, the Relaxity Gaming, and for every grips, best gaming grips in the business. Um, cheap and very reliable prices oh dead center that'll be one out yeah uh, very cheap prices very high quality grips for both make sure you use code cen311 for 15 percent off your order and to help out the channel ready to deliver here's the first pitch and now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen Strike taken as that one, one. catches the outer I part mean, of the plate. I mean, this Meadows dude's throwing heat. I mean, a 97 mile per hour cutter. I mean, his fastball's probably at least 99. Now a foul tip that's held on to with the plate. Foul the tip. One, and two, one now. two now. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and and strike three on another, another curveball. Back to back curves that that got us. And now Alexis Elias is up. He hit the triple earlier. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, that was a big, big cut. Big old cut. 
running it up there that hard, but not consistently. You still have to work the edges of the zone. Now we're already down 0-2. Let's go, Gophers. Here's the 0 and 2. Still 0 2. Keep on fighting. And I think the next stream that we'll do, other than the Chorus Daily Madden thing. I think it will be another March Madness. It will be Oklahoma versus Creighton. And I think it will be another baseball, and then I think we'll do another Gophers. Basketball. So. And that will be a leadoff single. And a shortstop to second. Oh, not a good throw. So there'll only be one out. We didn't turn the double play. Mickey McKnight's up. He's over two. Both of those at bats have been strikeouts. Find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today. Swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. Fouled away. Again, a one-two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Not where he wanted three that fastball to, to be, and it's three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home, and he lays off. And nice they job. didn't it's call that a strike, so that'll be a walk for away. McKnight. He's set. Here it comes. Ernesto De La Cruz stands in as he looks at ball one here. Ball and a strike. One and two now is that one. One two to off. Cruz. And a slider's in the dirt as he Man. lays off it for a ball. They're putting together some good at bats this inning. And that'll be a flare right. to right field. Right fielder. He's two down. A nice play there. Two away. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away. White now. Duffy now up. First pitch of the end. Bat on its way. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. O2 strike and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, down in the count 0 2. I'd like to see a little And we hit it to right second. And, and we get the runner out a second. That will end the inning and retire the side. Top half of the 6th about to get started and next to hit is the catcher Ernie Royal. From the stretch. And a ball Ooh. popped foul to the right side out of play. And I believe our first home series will be the next series, and it will be against Arkansas for the second time this year. It's kind of weird that we're playing Arkansas again after this series. You know, two out of three series in the first, you know, a couple series in the opening year. But with against the same, I mean, two or three against Arkansas, it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Hey, the fish ain't fighting there on that and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to Black Space 999 Gaming. And right to second. One down. So the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Felipe Durango goes up. Leadoff hitter. This will be his fourth that bad at the game. First pitch on its way to first. What a play by the first baseman the and the tag at first. Now Rodriguez is up. Arguably the best contact hitter on our team. It's two for three for the day. Very difficult to be a switch hitter in baseball today. And it's a good hit, but right to the center fielder to end the inning. Um, you know what? I'm gonna warm someone up. Let's warm up. Kelly Whiteside. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. In there. 0 and 1. Hit 
hit sharply oh. toward the right side. That ball that shot into the gap. In. That'll be a leadoff double for Ole Miss Rebels. Second year with nobody out. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Oh, yeah, almost hit him. Pitches, not the location he was shooting for. He's hitless in his That was almost in the so gap. Far. One and two now is that one two to the Mitch Drew. A runner at second, nobody out. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Can we make the play at first? In. Yes, we one will. First one down. Time, one away. And I don't care if they're worst hitters up the and if I walk him their you know best hitter will be up. I'm intentionally walk him so we can set up the double play situation here. Try to get out of this inning with no damage done. There. Signal, so there'll be runners at and the Pablo Piedra is up. In there for strike one, oh and one. With some traffic on the base pass, to nice third. job by the pitcher to execute. To second, one. to first, first double, double play. play. That's why I set it up, Wolves and it worked out. Double play to end the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to Around the horn. So coming to the plate, Will Hernandez. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles Ooh. it here. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite series that I put out on the channel. Let me know. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And here's a pitch one and two now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And the pitch. I got to count two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. Two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And now pitch on the way. Here we go, Gophers, here we go. Lifted down the line. Another foul ball. Long run for the left fielder, and they can't run it down. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Hit hard, but this will be a foul ball. This will be at least a nine pitch at bat here. The Will Hernandez, the three hitter. The two two, one more time. And did we win this battle? No, it will be caught by the left fielder on the run. Well, we are kind of wearing out their uh, relievers this series. You know, their one relief pitcher earlier threw, I think, 40-something pitches. This guy's thrown 30-plus pitches, you know. Seven straight retired. In this series, in. you know, it's big Ready that we're wearing them out, you know. Liner toward right center. And will that get and down? No, it won't. What a reach a there for the center for fielder. The Sands is out, two down. Now with the plate, Rod Prinzel. First pitch on its way. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Here we go, Gophers. Here we go. Nine 
not close. It's 2-0. 2-0 oh now. No. This is on the ground over to first. Will we get there in time? Yes, we will. First baseman couldn't field it cleanly as he had to die for it. That will be ruled a base hit. Now Mariano Masias is up. He's hitless so far today. See if he can change that right here. Nope, he pops it up. Pops it up to the catcher. That will end the seventh. Top. It's fun though. What a win. Hey, it ain't over yet. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. I mean, if Wolf goes through the seventh without no run scored, I'll pitch him in the eighth. If he goes, what a pitch. Nips the top corner. That is Wolf's ninth strikeout. Wow. He's already tied what he did the first game. That will wear on you if it lasts the ace, the Chip Wolf, like it has a doubt today. Why was Bomba's mom's? Oh my god, Black's face. You're doing Bomba dirty. Boy, oh boy. That's a pop up to Bernard Sands. Two down. Digging in, McKnight. Swung on and missed its 0 and 1. One strike. Hot shot on the ground. Can short. we field it? Cleanly. No. Not only was that a bad throw. Well, I don't know why he did throw it off his back foot. He took too long to get set. But that time it's his second baseman to short. That will end the seventh inning. Manuel Rosario. And now they'll bring in their third relief pitcher of the game. Manu Rosario. Ready to begin the eighth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Alonzo Tavares. And that ball's hit. And it'll be caught by the seventh fielder. One down. Wait, we don't really have like a big power team when I think of us. Like, we have a couple sure. You know, like Deardorf, Danny Deardorf, uh, Jordan Fisher, maybe, and of course Bernard Sands. I mean, the biggest power of our batter, of course, that um, other first baseman. Now I forgot his name. Gosh, is it Anderson? Something Anderson, I feel like. Like Nick Anderson, or whatever the heck his name is. No, Clayton, An yeah, Clayton Anderson, first baseman he has. That we have, uh, he's definitely our number one power bat, you know. I don't know if Sands or Anderson uh, played secondary positions, you know, because that'd be crazy if we could have Sands and Anderson in the field to hit both in one game. You know, we probably do that sometimes, you know. we we'll probably start doing that in the playoffs if we make it, though. Because we need to rest them. Nothing in two count and the oh, pitch. two to Royal, and he strikes he out. out. Second time tonight now that he's Good inning, though, for Rosario. Striding into the box. Wyatt, Wyatt Duffy, Duffy will start off the inning for the Rebels. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's and that will sneak and through. Get through into right and Pass Sands for a leadoff single. How is that a ball, you blind ump? Is that a strike now? My gosh. Uh-oh. No. Couldn't put it off. They have ended their shutout. Woohoo! They scored! 
He was on cruise control the entire game, but he gets Let's see what happens. I'm pitching Wolf through this. Through the end of the game, unless he gives up like five runs this game. And it may happen. Cut it off. Cut it off. 8 2 now. I'll just let him finish off this inning. Then he'll go. And that's a double play. And that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. It's number 100 on its way. Slap hard the opposite and way. caught Krenzel by the left fielder, the Rod Krenzel, to end the eighth inning. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Felipe Durango. First pitch of the at bat. Lofted in the air. Oh, that ball's right hit pretty center. well. McKnight but to the right fielder. One quick out to start inning number nine. I mean, we had one ball that I thought was gone. The dude literally trotted to first base. And then somehow it dropped. And, and we barely got into second with a double. He was just pimping the first base. I'm just like, shouldn't that be a no odd home run? So it's about to get the home run siren going, but... Then when I saw it drop, I'm just like, what? This team, they're swinging everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. Fouled off. Come on, Rosario. The one, two. High in the air and drifting out to That will just center. be a weak fly ball. Duffy two down. on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. You know what, I'll let Wolf pitch through the night. You know what, he's earned it. You know, he just got a little rocked in the eighth, but he's through a heck of a game, so I'll let him throw a complete game right by six. Why not? Now, if we were up by only, like, three, I would say, heck no. You know what, we've settled with a comfortable lead here, so. We're fine. Oh, two to Rosario. Actually, no, it's Hernandez. I was looking at the wrong box. Will Hernandez. Weak ground ball to third. Hopefully that's the last batter we have in this game. Chip Wolf looking to close it out. Strike one. A cold strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. Pitches away, but it's swung on and ground one out. second. And a good throw gets him one gun. There we go. Two more for the complete game for Chip Wolf. Stepping in, Alexander Reese. And this pitch is strike one. The inner half for strike one. Reese the nine hitters up. All night long. If he could continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. The to the left and side. hit to the shortstop. Got him with a nice scoop from Bernard. There we go. Two down. They're down to their final out. And McKnight's up. He's one for three, and he struck out twice today. That's one strike. Nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. I'll be foul, right. so two strikes. Looking Can we get him? Game. Here's the pitch. Strike three! McKnight strikes out for the third time today. Wolf with the win. Gophers win. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many... <laughs>
Oh, there it is, folks. We get the W in Ole Miss today. At Barnes Canyon Ballpark, we win it. Um, our record's now 3-3, three and three, tied with uh, Ole Miss. Uh, we have one more game left in the series. Hopefully we can win it and win the series. Um, yeah, then we'll be at home and we'll play Arkansas for the second time this year. Well, second series. Um, yeah. Then we'll get into more uh, mostly conference play. You know, Maryland, Michigan State. Then we'll get into Michigan, a little Cal State, Fullerton. But yeah. Um, guess we can just advance day. Kev Berry will be on the mound against Emilio Rosales for Ole Miss. But uh, yeah, let's check the standings real quick. Michigan State 4-1, Michigan 3-1, Gophers of course 3-3, three, three. Maryland 2-3, and uh, Illinois Fighting Illini 0-4. They have not won a single game yet. I want to thank you all for watching very much. Make sure to join our Discord, Sensational 311. And yeah, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. We're out. Thank you all for watching. Peace.